Aging baby boomers are leading to a boom in certain types of medical services. Heart care is on that list, with thousands of people receiving diagnostic and interventional catheterization procedures. That's led to a new diagnostic cardiac cath lab on the Baptist Memphis campus. Joining us on today's Heart of the Matter with details is Dr. David Wolford of the Stern Cardiovascular Foundation. Dr. Wolford, let me ask you, what is a diagnostic cath lab? Well, the diagnostic cath lab here at Baptist is, is an area that we set aside to do diagnostic procedures only. Um, patients uh, that need cardiac catheterization come here electively. Uh, there's no emergent cases. They're all well scheduled. Um, and we perform a, a diagnostic cardiac catheterization. And what that is, is we um, insert tubes, generally in the groin, and we run tubes to the heart uh, where we measure pressures inside the heart and outside of the heart. Uh, we inject dye into the heart to see how well the heart functions. Um, we can diagnose valvular heart disease at that time. And we also uh, insert catheters that are specifically designed to go to the coronary systems where we inject dye in the coronary so we diagnose uh, whether or not a patient has coronary artery disease. Uh, at that setting, we can tell if the uh, blockages are in main arteries or if they're in side branches or do they involve side branches. Is this something that could be medically treated? Uh, is this something that may need a stent uh, to open up? Or is this something that may need bypass surgery? Uh, doing the diagnostic cardiac catheterization is, is a relatively straightforward and safe procedure. Uh, the patients recover here for a couple of hours and then they're able to go home. Uh, the family's with the patient the entire time during the pre-procedure and post-procedure. And um, it allows us to interact with the physician, the patient, and the family all together to come to a decision as, as to best how to treat this patient. Is, is medicines the only thing that's needed at this time, or, or is there some more invasive uh, intervention that would be needed down the road? What are the differences between the diagnostic cath lab and an inpatient cath lab? Well, in, in the hospital setting, um, we do outpatients, uh, we do elective procedures, but we also do an emergency procedures and we do interventions. Um, if you're scheduled for a case and an emergency comes in, the emergency has to go first. And that may be a hour wait or a three hour wait. You may get there at six in the morning and be done at three in the afternoon. So the scheduling is a problem uh, when you have to deal around emergencies. That's predominantly the difference. What procedures can be performed in Baptist diagnostic cath lab? Well, in our diagnostic lab, we, like I said, do right heart catheterizations where we measure pulmonary pressures. Uh, we do left heart catheterizations where we look at LV function, valvular disease, and um, coronary artery disease. We do peripheral angiograms where we look at the arteries that go to the, to the brain, to the arms, and to the legs. And we also do biopsies of the heart. We exchange pacemaker generator batteries, uh, and we can insert loop recorders for detection of irregular rhythms. Are there any advantages to a patient having their procedure performed in Baptist diagnostic cath lab? Well, yes, there are several advantages. Like I alluded to before, uh, being able to interact with the uh, patient, the family, and the referring physicians allows the cardiologist to s tailor their uh, form of therapy to that patient's needs. Doing the diagnostic cardiac catheterization is a, is a safe procedure and it usually takes eight to ten minutes to perform. Um, but the most difficult thing is what do you do with the information that you gather? And that's, that's where uh, collaborative effort uh, in that decision process is, is allowed. Uh, in addition to the patient convenience of a timed procedure that's on schedule uh, in an outpatient setting or a diagnostic facility. Are there any patients that would be inappropriate for Baptist cath lab? Well, yes, th this is purely diagnostic. There's no one that we want to do over here that's unstable. If they're having active chest pain. Um, if you already know what you're um, dealing with in the form of their coronary anatomy uh, and then they present <clears throat> with recurrent symptoms, those patients would be generally better dealt with uh, in the interventional lab where we can go ahead and put stents in at the same setting. Dr. David Wolford, thank you for joining us today on Smart Medicine.